Hello and welcome back. This time we are using SSH to install software. And of course we are not installing any software. Yeah? We are installing MariaDB, the database software we are going to use. What's the first thing we need to do? Yeah? There is some sort, there is some sort of app store, let's call it. Yeah? This is the so-called repository. Yeah? There is a catalog of software and this uh, MariaDB is inside this catalog. Yeah? Of course, we need to get the newest version, the newest content of this App Store. Okay? Therefore, there is a command and this command is sudo. This means super user do because a standard user in Unix, I do not have the, the rights to do everything. So if I now say sudo, this means this, I'm the... I want to do this as a super user. Yeah, this is a little bit more rights. APT, yeah, APT means advanced packaging tool. This is this sort of app store. Let's call it. Get, yeah? and now we make an update. Okay, now this command, I will execute this. This is getting the newest content from from the app store, the the, the catalog. Let's call it. Yeah, it's downloaded. It takes a little while. Yeah, it takes a little while, and then we do have the all the actual packages. Okay, and if we have the actual packages, yeah, we're going to upgrade as well. This means all everything which is installed on our on our Raspberry will get upgraded to the latest version. This will do as well. We have to wait until this is finished. Ready. Now we have the new catalog. And the next command is of course a super user again get and now we do make an upgrade upgrade enter this says yeah okay i'm upgrading this and these packages yeah do you want to do this i would need 527 kilobit kilobyte new uh, additional space yes please do it yeah. the upgrade is running until it is finished, yeah, we have to wait, of course. Yeah. Upgrading the system now. After the upgrade, we're going to install. Okay, we're going to install MariaDB. Okay, now we're done. The command to, to install MariaDB, super user do. Get. And now we want to install, and we want to install MariaDB client. And we also want to install MariaDB server. Okay. Get, install MariaDB client, install MariaDB server. Enter. Now it tells me, hey, I'm installing really a lot of new packages. Yeah, we and we need 150 megabyte space on the hard drive. On the hard drive, yeah, it's it's not actually not the hard drive. It's actually the the uh, SD card, of course. Hmm. Yes, I want to proceed. Hmm. And also, this takes a while. Hmm. So we are going to wait. Put this on the right hand side. Is this working? Ah! I'm waiting. I'm covering a little bit of the window. Ah, yeah. It's not perfect. Maybe do it like this. No, I think it should work. Yeah, I'm not telling any jokes. 
Uh, even if it would now be applicable, yeah, because we're just waiting for this to finish. <laughs> Let's wait. <laughs> yeah, downloading, installing 150 gigabyte simply takes a while. But you see, it's not that difficult. It's not that difficult. Just use, just use uh, the repository, and what is inside there is installed quite easily. Okay, so how long will it take? We don't know. We're just waiting. Okay, I will again make myself disappear. <laughs> Bring this in the middle again. Yeah, this should have our own uh, attention. Oh, now it's finished. Oh, God. Next thing we are going to do, we are setting up a root password. Okay, we are setting up a root password. Sudo. And now we have first time we are starting MariaDB. MariaDB is a fork. MariaDB is a fork of, of MySQL. This is why we also started with MySQL. Yeah. A fork is it is branched somehow. Yeah, there it is derived from MySQL. This means I start now MySQL as user root uh, and I want to change the password. It's P. Okay. And the password, yeah. Select one. Now I'm online. Yeah. Now I change the password for the root, for the root, and now I want to make sure that this password is everywhere in the system. Okay, so I need to type in flush privileges. Yeah, don't forget the semicolon here. There, yeah? this is necessary because this is already an SQL statement. Yeah, we will learn this. We will learn this. Flush privileges. Okay, I'm always looking in this direction, so I will bring back, bring me back in picture. Okay, flush privileges. Yeah. The next thing we have to do is nothing. Exit. Nothing is easy. Exit. We are back. We are back in the OS. Yeah. Back into S. Now, now we have to to. Uh, set up a configuration file. A lot of things in the Unix world are, are done by, by configuration files. To bring this configuration file, to make this configuration file, we are using a little tool called Nano. Nano is a little text editor. Okay, so I'm typing sudo nano yeah? and now I have to specify the file. Yeah? And this file should be in the directory etc mysql and the file should be named my.conf conf okay enter now nano is starting nano says it's a new file yeah you see there new file this means this file has not existed before did not exist before yeah. two things i'm going to enter yeah port equals 3306 what's this what's this what's this what's this okay port <laughs> I pressed F1. Stern C. Port 3306. Okay. And bind address equals double point. That's it. This form says the, the standard port. We are listening to with 306, that's the standard board for MySQL and then MariaDB and bind address. This means 
we are accepting connections from all from all networks. Standard on standard behavior, it would only accept local host. Login from local host, and now we accept from everybody. Okay. Now we're going to save this. Press Ctrl X, yeah, and yes, we want to save it under this name, and that's it. We have we have now the configuration file. We have now the configuration file. Okay. Now we need to do some some security security things. Yeah. There is since there are a lot of options. Yeah. There is a special script, and I'm running this sudo mysql secure inst installation secure installation. Okay. This is guiding me. This is guiding me somehow through all the secure stuff. Yeah. It tells me I already changed the password. Well, that's true. Yeah. So enter current password for root. Okay. Change the root password. Uh, no, I don't want to change it. I have already set it. If you don't have set it, it will ask you to, to type something in. Yeah? No, I don't want to change it. Now it's asking me, uh, there is an anonymous unit user. Yes, we want to delete this anonymous unit user. This is just for testing reasons. Uh, the root should only be allowed to log in, to log in uh, from localhost. Yeah? The root is the administrator user. Yeah, it should only be allowed to log in from localhost. Yes, we want to disallow it from remote. Yeah. And there are test databases on. We also don't need these test databases. So yes, we are going to delete them. Yeah. What's this? Uh, reload privileges. Okay, this is maybe this is this flush privileges. Yes, please distribute this in our system. Yeah. Thanks for using MariaDB. Okay. Now the only thing we want to do is to restart MariaDB again. Yeah. To have this, to have this restarted. Yeah. This can can be either done by restarting the whole pie, yeah, or by just restarting the MariaDB process. And I just restart the MariaDB process. So I type in sudo sudo uh, etc init.d mysql this is the process this is the process and then type restart okay so this will restart the mysql process yeah. that's it we're done mysql is running on our machine MariaDB is running in our machine and we can use the database for input. Yeah? But this will be explained in other videos. Yeah? Right now, I think we're happy. Yeah? So, you can follow these steps. Thank you very much for listening this time. Goodbye.